Today we're going to talk about the dibromination of an alkene. We'll use cyclohexene as a substrate and add Br2 across the double bond. And this reaction occurs in a regioselective manner, such that the, or excuse me, a stereoselective manner, such that the bromines are opposite or trans to each other within the ring. So the first step of this reaction is the bromine reacting with the electrons of the double bond. So the pi electrons here come out and attack the bromine. And so you can think about this as we've talked about addition of HBr across the double bond, giving a carbocation and a bromine. In this case, I'll draw the bromine up. You can draw it either way. But this um, bromine is large enough and it has a big enough um, electron shell that it can actually interact with the cat carbocation to form a bromonium cation. And so in this case, we can only have the bromine cis within the three-membered ring. And so the bromine is basically blocking the front, the, the face of, um, of the cyclohexane ring. Our Br minus then comes in, and you can have it attack either carbon. In this case, you'll get the same product. And so it has to do the backside attack, similar to an SN2 reaction, opening the ring and giving the trans addition of Br2 across a, a double bond.